Hello and welcome. My name is Zane and this is my results from 400 supply crates at Wintertop, which took 35 hours in total to collect. So as always, I'll be showing the loot first, then there'll be a quiet section while I show all the stats I gathered, and finally we'll get into the analysis. So without further ado, let's begin. So as you can see, this is all of our loot from opening 400 supply crates in total, with a lot of really decent supply drops, which came out to 8.43 mil in total. And if we just have a look down here, we can also see I got over a full Pyromancer set, which very fortunately for me, I got earlier into the run. Aside from that though, there's nothing too notable, so let's get right into the stats. So there's a few things you need to know about this data. The first is that it was collected from 83 to 99 fire making and 63 to 71 woodcutting without using fletching. On the levels front, this is significant because your experience per hour will scale with your level upwards. And on the fletching front, it's significant because if you don't fletch, you get less points overall, which means that on average, your loot will be slightly worse and you'll have a slightly lower drop chance of getting the Phoenix pet. So a second thing to note for this is that I did use sourdough and brews as my main healing food. And on average, I used a full brew for each round of winter top. The nice thing about these is they means you don't have to bank as much because it's a lot of health points in each inventory slot. But the downside is that obviously this contributes to the fairly large supply cost that I had while doing winter top. So it's more AFK, but a bit more costly. And the final thing to note is the level in the other skills I had when I opened the supply crates. So overall, I had 63 herb lore, 65 fishing, 69 farming, 73 crafting, 74 mining, and between 63 to 71 woodcutting. And this is important because these levels impact the resources you'll get from the crates. So if you have higher levels in those skills than me, you'll have got better loot. And if you have lower levels in those skills than me, you'll get worse loot on average. As for the method itself, this obviously pulls in a very modest profit, but the main thing that's good about this is that it's very much AFK compared to the alternative, which is burning logs individually. I would also really strongly recommend that you only woodcut and don't fletch here unless you're an iron man that wants fletching experience because just woodcutting makes it even more AFK as well. And again, if you have high hit points like me, I would also recommend throwing in the extra expense for sourdough and brews to again increase how AFK this is if you're going to be there for a longer period of time. So overall, I definitely recommend giving this a try because it pulls in a decent profit and perhaps most importantly, it's pretty much AFK while giving you very high fire making experience per hour. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. And if there's anything you'd like me to cover, then feel free to drop me a line and I'll do my best to make it happen. With all that said though, I hope you're having a nice day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.